Hey guys, uh, today I want to explain the, the Rito technique on, on Maya. There's a lot of information ready about this on the internet, but I think the Maya side is a bit confusing for some people. So I'm trying to make it the clearest possible. So let's go for it. Uh, we will need a mesh uh, to work with. So in this case, I will be using a polyplane. Uh, let's uh, remove history, delete history. Okay, so we have a, a clean. Okay, we have a clean poly polyplane. Uh, and this will be our first layer of the formation. So let's call it layer one. Um, so this layer could be anything. It could be the entire ray if you want. Uh, this is your first layer. So in this case, to Keep things simple, I will be using just a plane shape, but keep in mind that this is not only for plane shapes, right? So I will duplicate this twice, and this will be my plane shape. Remove this, I will hide this, and yeah, and I will you know, move some points here. So yeah, this one. Good, yeah, and maybe I don't know this. Um, yeah. yeah, that's oops, that's my deformation for the first layer. So select both things, create the former blank shape, just delete this one. So, yeah, I have a blank shape here, and that's it. So, I will create a super animation here to make things. Clear. Yeah, exciting, right? <laughs> and let's work now on our second layer. So yeah, let's hide this, show this. For our second layer, we want a small tweak controls to just tweak uh, localized areas, and these tweaks should go on top of the first layer. So that's that's the the Rita effect. So let's create a couple of joints here. Uh, okay, this is zero. And I will duplicate this and pattern this. And the second one I will be a bit, a bit bigger, so it's easier to select. Uh, we want to deform this plane with this joint. So select the first, second plane, skin. Bind skin, smooth bind. Cool. So now this well, we'll clean the the weights a little bit. So the, the part will be like the holder for the weights, and for the second one, let's paint something really quickly. Yeah, that's good enough for, for this example. It's not that impressive, <laughs> but yeah, it's it's working. It's like a localized deformation. So what we need now is apply this localized deformation on top of the first layer. So in order to do that, we are going to create a new blank shape from the first layer to the second one. Uh, this blank shape should be always active. Right? We always want the first layer of the formation. So now it's working, as you can see here. But our skin is not working. So it's not working because uh, this let me select this. The order of the inputs. The blank shape is overriding the skin deformation. So how to fix this? All inputs and just change the order, and that should fix this. Yeah. So this would be great. Uh, this would would work, but the problem is the control or the joint in this case is hidden inside the geometry. So yeah, 
how to put it here, right? Because the deformation side is, is working. So in order to do that, we will create a locator. And this locator will follow the first layer. So layer one, locator, uh, constraint, point on poly, and this constraint has the UV coordinates, so in this case it's really easy because it's in the center, so 0.5. And the locator is following the first layer, but has nothing to do with the second one. So we still have the same problem. So what if we parent, I know it sounds weird, parent the joints to this locator. So let's try. And what happens now is we have double deformations, right? Because the rest pose or the bind pose for the skinning is also kicking in when we're moving. So how to fix this? Well, fortunately, uh, the skin cluster node has an input for the bind pose, so we can change that on the fly. So let's go to the node editor. Uh, let's look for the skin cluster node. I want also the locator node here. Just the transform. Let me. Okay. So I want to take. Uh, the world inverse matrix, inverse matrix <laughs> of this locator and connect it to the bind pre matrix. So this is an array and each one of this correspond to each uh, joint. So you have to remember the index. This is the tricky part. So if you have like a lot of <laughs> Doritos or tweakers or whatever you want to call it, uh, it's kind of tricky. So you end up doing it first from scripting almost all the time, but yeah. So this for the first one and the same for the second one because are in the same spot, in the same position. So now we are adjusting the bind pose so nothing happens until we move this joint here. So it's like an offset, just what we want. And that's it. That's the Zorito. <laughs> Hope you like it. Uh, see you around, guys. Bye-bye.